Hi guys, this is TechDAO and today I'm going to show you the new update of Hyper OS 1.0.4 and I also got the new update. I just have to update my phone. So right now my phone is on Hyper OS 1.0.42 as you can see and also we get the new update. In new update, you can see the update is almost 400 MBs where uh, we have a lot of the new updates like floating windows, home screens and other updates. They optimize uh, the animation and other things as you can see. I will update that version today and I will make another video on this on this updated version. The new update gives us the new AI options in our photo section, in our editing section. The new AI options we get in our photo editing section is a create option and in the create option for example if we go to the erase there we got a pro option with the pro we can uh, remove our people and some objects and for example uh, if you are in a place where there are so many garbage and other things you can remove it for example if you say remove people it will scan all the people and you can select those people and then you can remove them I select all the people for example I select those people and I select I go to the start it will remove all the people and you can see there is no any sign of uh, that we use the AI and we remove the people as you can see our tech doubt and in our editing option there is a create option where you can uh, remove the people and where you can choose everything to create and to do with the AI with the help of AI as you can see normally we have this section but now in the new update we get the pro section and if we go to the pro as you can see we have the option of remove object remove lines remove people and manually if we go to the man manually we can select the people and we can select the area which we want to remove after this as you can see we can remove it as you can see but it's not that much perfect for example if we want to remove the object we can select the object somewhere and it will select that object but if we want to remove the people as i already show you how to remove the people you can do it by it in the in the erase section without pro version we also have the same option uh, remove people and other options as you can see where we can select the people for example if i want to remove this guy we can do this and like this and this but in the pro version we have more accuracy and more detail for example as you can see there is the line and there is something like uh, you can see where the ai just messed up in the pro version we don't get anything like this for example if we create it again and in the pro version if we go to the remove people and i will go to the select all not tech out and i will start it start removing so as you can see it removed there is a very little thing like there is another guy behind the daud and you can see it it couldn't remove it because it's there is no any option so i think we can do it by manually but it will not that much perfect as you can see maybe it's it will not that much perfect So as you can see with the manually and like the object behind the object it just messed up and I don't know what it just made. Update in the photo section we have if we go to the edit and we go to the beautify as you can see there are some other options and in the manage plugins we get the AI expansion and AI arrays. I already show you the AI arrays version but I will show you the AI expansion version. For example if I go to the create first we get a frame option and there we can choose our frames other thing we can go to the watermark and there we can choose our watermarks and other frames as you can see right now uh, if we, I, I choose this one it will show you the uh, the picture is clicked by 23 mm lens 1.6 uh, focus and 1 by 50 exposure and 200 iso and if we go to the section of the crop and if i go to the ai expansion there we i can expand the picture as much as i want before it will uh, the version of 1.0 but right now it's 2.0 as i showed you there i can change it in any custom size and then if i go to the start it will generate the image and it will take a pause a very little pause in the percentage of 99 as you can see 
after that it will create the image like as you can see but there are some details that i that if you can see there which is just feels like it's used by ai like there was a my keyboard and it just messed up but if i go to the a little one i will go to the start as you can see there it just did it like much better because there was a little much expansion other thing we get our new filters some very uh, rare and very new filters that we didn't have in other phones in redmi phones and in other uh, old versions of this phone other thing in the adjust section we have some vibrance warm highlight shadow curves hsl denoise clarity and fade gain sharpness and other thing that we get in our photos editing section in editing section we can customize our quality for example clicking to the quality we can choose our quality to low 40 percent and 100 percent like if you want some picture for your thumbnail and other thing where the size is really large you can choose it by choose your size and you can change your resolution and everything by selecting these settings other update we have some new skies in our sky option other option we have in the create section where we get the bouquet option and as you can see i click the bouquet and it start the loading and after the loading i will choose the portrait and anything for example if i go to the original as you can see there is a less blur in the background but with the circle option it changed the blur length and blur for example if i go to the reflex it change the background for example if i go to the root rotate it gives us the blur in the rotate version for example in if you see any pictures in the aesthetic version as you can see there is a, some rotatory blur as you can see and we have many many options for example if i go to the star as you can see there are some stars as you can see another thing in this update the hyper os just um, optimize and make the animations more smoother like you can see if i go to the back the animations are much better in this hyper os updated version but in the new update they upgraded it more and they optimize the phone and everything more so you can say the new updates are coming and the upcoming updates will optimize your phone as much as they can right Right now i'm using xiaomi 14 this phone isn't in pakistan right now but as you can see the software and everything is really optimized and good so these are some new updates and these are some new functions that we get in our editing section of uh, Hi hyper os 1.0.4 in next update i will show you what we get in hyper os 1.0.4 if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and let them know what we can get and what we have in our new xiaomi phone